I was just an ordinary animal living on a farm. Just an ordinary stallion. Mr. Jones owned the manor farm. The animals did not live as free ones. Jones treated us like objects and not as living beings. All day long we were just captured on his farm. All the things we produced were given to the humans. We worked non-stop for our own sake, but we had enough. After the death of Old Major we wanted it to change. Change drastically. It happened quite fast. In no time the farm was ours, and ours only. Animal farm, where all animals are equal to each other. At least, I think that was the motto. The pigs were the cleverest, so they took the lead, especially Snowball and Napoleon. They gave us tasks and tried to make us right. They also made seven commandments for all the animals. They were important for the rebellion, as we were called. The pigs did make us do a lot of work. I always replied, I will work harder. Every day I started working at least half an hour before the rest came, together with Benjamin. Napoleon took the lead after Snowball was going to announce a new plan. He popped out of nowhere, but his plan was quite good. We were going to build a windmill for ele electricity. Napoleon is always right, so we worked day and night to finish the windmill. Without me, the windmill would have never been built. I carried the heaviest boulders and lifted them high in the air. After the war, the windmill had vanished from existence. It just blew up. Our two years of work, gone. I could not imagine that we had to rebuild the entire thing. With my wounded hoof it would take forever, but I still wanted to work. Clover and Benjamin disagreed with that. After the healing I worked harder than ever, but on a rainy evening it went wrong. I slipped away and a large rock fell down on me. Clover and Benjamin took good care of me the last days before I went to the hospital. After two days the van came, and in that moment my time had come. Napoleon betrayed me to death.